So this symphony has a story to it of pride in being Russian. The second movement seems to be inspired by klezmer, Jewish music, that Shostakovich had such an interest in and such a love for. The solos for the string instruments, the violins or the clarinet, it just sounds like, a bit like the klezmer bands. And it has a wistful, rather touching quality to the song, because it is a song. The third movement, though, is altogether different. It seems to be about space, about landscape, about horizon. Perhaps it's about the size of Russia, the mother country, the enormous landscape that everybody knew and loved and wished was happier. The last movement starts very somberly. It seems like a song for people who aren't there anymore like an epitaph for the soldiers who lost their lives. Perhaps it has that funereal, tragic atmosphere to it. But it builds and builds and builds. Superficially, it seems as if the symphony ends in a blaze of glory. Shostakovich was rather used to writing music that would appear to be happy and triumphant. But anybody who listened carefully would know and would feel that this was nothing to do with victory. There was no victory under Stalin. The tears streaming down people's faces as the war came to an end was one image. The hard-won sense of conclusion is not happy. It, the victory, if there is one, is hollow. They still had to live within this incredibly difficult world. And so I always feel at the end of this symphony that Leningrad as a city may be saved, the war may be over, Hitler may be, have been defeated and everything that he stood for, but the pain that the Russian people have endured in getting to that stage in their life, the pain that they then had to go on coping with in living under Stalin, is expressed in the mock heroism of this music. You could say perhaps the anger that underpins it. You could feel in this end, this massive build-up, a sense of energy and belief and yearning for something better, but something that cannot get better, while the regime is as it was. Difficult, but moving.